The Varsity Jacket. The Varsity Jacket dates all the way to 1865 when the Harvard baseball team took the uniforms and sewed a large Old English H on the chest. Now, this wasn't the varsity jacket you see today, but this was the beginning. It was more of a thick knitted gray flannel pullover with the H. Now, a couple years later, in 1891, the baseball team started sprouting black sweaters with a large H embroidered on the chest. Now, again, it wasn't the same material you see in today's varsity jacket, but that took it to the next level where you start seeing the large embroidered leather on the chest of a jacket. Now, after that, about 10 plus years later or so, it began to trickle down to other sports. The basketball team started doing it. The football team started doing it. And the varsity jacket became a, a, a piece of clothing that was given to, you know, the top players, the best athletes, th those who proven to have earned that varsity jacket. Now, in the 1930s, you start seeing the modern varsity jacket. The varsity jacket changed. It became a wool jacket with leather sleeves that we still see to this day. What happened was the players wanted more of a sturdier uh, clothing item that can help them keep them warm better. Now, also in the 1930s, it started to trickle down from the elite Ivy universities like Harvard down to the state local colleges and then down to the high schools. And in the 1930s, you start seeing the American jock. Now, how did the varsity jacket go from the American jock in the 1930s to now being part of the street, part of the, the culture? Well, in the 1980s, manufacturers of fan merchandise started making varsity jackets for pro teams like the NBA, the NFL. So now you start seeing everyone repping their, their favorite sports team, the, the varsity jacket. Also in the 1980s, you start seeing more celebrities, people with influence wearing the varsity jacket, which, which gave rise to it. Like in 1983, when Michael Jackson famously wore that red varsity jacket with the gold letter M on it in the music video Thriller. Everyone wanted to get that varsity jacket. Now also, in the late 80s, early 90s, you start seeing more hip-hop groups wearing the varsity jacket. You start seeing Run DMC wearing the varsity jacket. You start seeing NWA have the varsity jacket. So it became part of the culture. It may have started from Harvard, from Ivy League schools, but it's funny how that trickled down all the way down to the streets, to the largest hip-hop rap groups, to, to people who have really pushed that genre forward. They were wearing it now. Now that you know the history of the varsity jacket, let's talk about some brands that took the varsity jacket and, and added their own take on it. So all the way back to 1987, Stussy released his Stussy Tribe Varsity Jacket, or known back then as the Homeboy Jacket. Now this jacket wasn't for sale, you had to be you know, part of the tribe in order to get it, so it was still exclusive, and you had to actually be given it by Sean Stussy himself. Fun fact is Hiroshi Fujiwara was actually given a jacket. And then after its re initial release, you start seeing Stussy release so many varsity jacket years and years later on. Now, a couple years later, Raph had his own take on the varsity jacket. It was part of its autumn and winter 2002 collection, the Virginia Creeper. Now that collection to this day is known as one of his most best collections to date. Then you saw St. Laurent have his own take on the varsity jacket. In 2013, the creative director came out with the St. Laurent Teddy part of its fall collection. Now, everyone wore that jacket. You saw every celebrity rocking that jacket in 2013, 2014, 15, and 16. You saw ASAP Rocky. You saw Justin Bieber. Then you saw people like Kevin Hart in 2014 wearing that jacket. And then 2016, you saw Post Malone. You saw John Legend. You saw g Easy. You saw John Jonah Hill. You saw Vic Mensa. So everyone was wearing that varsity jacket. Now, another brand that had its own take on it was Margiela. Margiela came out with this satin panel jacket in 2015, part of its spring collection. Then a couple years later, Gucci in 2018 revealed his trio varsity jacket, the Gucci band, the blue and red denim bomber jacket, and the blue GG blade bomber. Now, if you ask me, I think in 2019, 2020, 2021, that was whenever the varsity jacket started getting hype. But I think 2019 kind of started the beginning of that hypeness. So then Off-White had his varsity jacket in 2019 and 2020. Then after Louis Vuitton released his own varsity jacket as part of his spring summer 2021 collection. Then after that, you kind of start seeing every single brand make a varsity jacket. And my favorite part was you start seeing a lot of local, you know, smaller brands make, you know, varsity jackets that were original, different. And I kind of like that. And to this day now, you cannot go on Instagram without seeing that varsity jacket. Now, of course, with fashion, there's trends, there's ups and downs. And at this point, I think the varsity jacket is really trending up. And of course, 
I think in a couple years, it's not going to be as popular, as relevant as it is today. But I still think the varsity jacket is going to be a staple in fashion. And many years later, it's going to be, you know, the hot thing again. Now, let me know what you think. Do you still think the varsity jacket is still as relevant now in 2022? Or do you think it's died off? It's just lost its clout? Drop a comment down below and leave a like. And I'll see you guys on the next one.